It's just again some pointers, just that you may be reminded of them. And let me see if they are still relevant. They must still be. One, God, the true self, has never left you, but you must seek with all your mind and your heart and your strength and will to find and be one with Him, who is the Supreme Self and the source of your very being. Yes. This is what we have been doing and to make clear. It is your most natural attraction, but you have not discovered. In this world, the mind is attracted to many things, to many things, but one after one, they fail in their in their bling, they fail and become dust, you know, in time. I am not saying the things that we experience in life are nothing at all in the sense that you must be dismissive. Accept each thing uh, with grace and uh, with humility. But remember, uh, don't surrender to anything, because it is only apparent. Enjoy with gratitude, but remember yourself. Uh, Yourself needs nothing. It is given for a few years the opportunity to experience and to taste the diverse phenomena in life but still to not be lost and to find your way home here here next one as you are being escorted by grace to your source the ego mind will either be seen to be nothing or at times the main distracting force operating on the cover or undetected in your life. Do not grieve when it is time to transcend the ego mind. Do not grieve. Don't even celebrate. Just be grateful. Again, I'll read it. As you are being escorted by grace to your very source, the Self, the ego mind will either be seen to be nothing at all, and maybe at other times the main distracting force operating on the cover or undetected in your life until you wake up uh, by exposing it and finding your true nature. That's what I mean. So do not grieve when it's time to transcend the, the ego mind or the mind self. Don't grieve. Uh, uh, rather, be grateful inside your heart, and all is well. Next pointer. The very strength of the ego mind is a myth that grew through belief, habit and acceptance, acceptance of it to be your true nature. Until now, you are waking up out of this sleep and realizing, no, this is not the fact of my existence. It is merely a fiction. And this is why it kept on changing. But I am recognizing this now from the unchanging place I am discovering is ever present in me. Beautiful, is it? Next one. Now that you are in the process of awakening, watch that you do not go back to sleep. In the process of awakening, in the stages of awakening, you see, sometimes things come, many uh, uh, illusions come, many offers come. And remember, I say offers come. Like, oh, you can do this. Oh, now you have understood. Now you have enough experience. Why don't you come and do this? Come and join into this. And it may seem appealing if you have some residual ego mind left in you. It may become suddenly attractive. Oh, maybe this is what life wants me to do. You see? And then you start to follow that trail, and it brings you again into a state of blindness. This is why I say, uh, do not go back to sleep. 
There is a little story that one time a disciple was following his master for many years. And then one day, while contemplating on the master's teachings, he woke up to the truth. He woke up and was so, of course, uh, so profoundly happy. And then he appeared in front and fell at master's feet. He says, uh, Master, please thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me throughout all this time, even throughout all my mistakes. You never abandoned me. And now, by grace, I have awakened to my true nature. Please, what can I do for you, Master, in return? So Master said to him, Well, there is nothing you can do for me, nothing I lack. But there is one thing I would ask you. Don't go back to sleep. <laughs> Don't go back to sleep. It makes sense or not? Sometimes people feel, Oh, no, I have awakened. I can never go back to sleep. Don't be cocky about it. Don't be overconfident. The Master's words mean something, because as long as you know, it seemed as though there was a snake inside your house, in your room, and it's a rattlesnake. And uh, you know now, be very careful of this snake. So you try to push him out, and now you open the door, and he's going out. Ha ha! His head is inside the garden. Okay. But don't start to celebrate, because his tail is still in the room. You understand? So don't be start to celebrate. The tail, bam, and there you go. So don't be celebrating too early. And don't celebrate. Just stay quiet and alert, and let it drain away. Flush it all out. Hmm? But don't be wait watching to flush, 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 flush. No, at a certain point, you must honor what you see, respect your seeing, digest your seeing, marinate your attention in your seeing, and come home fully. This is my advice. Okay, let me see what else is there now. If the tree is good. The fruit will also be good and sweet. If you are truly awakening or awake, your presence will radiate and shine as love and peace, kindness, joy, openness, and wisdom. You see? Why I say that? No? Because it's not enough. Sometimes we feel, I understand, but it's still the intellect. It may be just an intellectual conviction, but it will not be enough. You cannot intellectualize yourself into the true nature, you see. As you are discovering, this is a living thing, a living power is released in you. This joy, this peace, this spaciousness, you see, is not just for enjoyment, it is also washing away and protecting you from delusion also, you see? But as you are experiencing and verifying ah, such stillness and grace, you see? And then also, it will also shine within your heart, this peacefulness, this loving-kindness, patience, openness. You will not judge others. This is why I say, if the tree is good, the fruits will be good. I sometimes used to say, can you imagine somebody present you with a cake, beautiful chocolate cake with nice, uh, nice fruit on the top, cherry on the top of it. Then when you cut it to, to eat it, it smells like sardines. Uh, no, you will not enjoy this cake at all, would you? And the same with us, as you are developing, as you are somehow becoming more grounded. You find, even without trying or making effort, you become much more light in your appearance. Even many people may notice, Oh, you seem so so quiet. Is everything OK? Because worldly-minded people, they don't know how to interpret you. They look and they say, Maybe, uh, are you sad? Are you OK? 
and you say, never mind, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Have a good day or whatever. You don't have to strike big conversations. Just you nicely, nicely. Okay? Don't strive to make friends nor enemies. Remain as the self and watch all things unfolding in their natural way. Okay? So that's another one. You want some more? I'm not far from finished. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't let a day pass or go by without taking a little space to be quiet and to put your attention on the emptiness and the natural silence of the heart. Don't let a day go by without observing the I self, the I person as merely a phenomenon watched from your true place. What it means. Yes, sometimes our days can seem so demanding. There are so many things to do. Oh, I'll leave for later. I'll do this. And you're running around like sometime headless chicken, or trying to you know, fulfill all the things that your mind imagine are important. Take a little time, even if it's five minutes, and leave everything outside for a moment. And sit uh, with your being, just the natural sense of being. Not many words, just the sense of beingness. And pay attention. Be one with it. And don't allow it to connect up with any thought activity. Pay attention. Just be. It may seem oversimplistic, perhaps even a an, an naive or inadequate advice. But how powerful it turns out to be! Just like this, you don't have to be working at trying to become quiet. Just be quiet. Don't touch any thought or intention. Just be one with your sense of self, and don't multiply any word. Stay like this, but don't go to sleep. And gradually you'll see, oh, every noise is washed away. No distraction, and a beautiful peace. Sometimes in the day it can feel like there's not even time for this five minutes. But if you sit like this, this five minutes of peace it will give you many hours of silence and peace. So don't disregard this. Find a little time, at least. Those of you, as you discover the greatness, the beauty, the profoundity of what you are discovering, you will naturally want to be more with it, because nothing in this world can satisfy you like this. Nothing in this world can be as profound and complete as discovering your own true nature. See, so that's a good one. Remember, next one, you are neither better nor worse than anybody else. You are not a somebody. You are the formless self. So you are not better or worse than anyone. You are not a someone. You are the formless self. That speaks for itself. Because sometimes there is a tendency to compare. Uh, you see, because as you feel that you are growing, you want to compare. Even in spirituality, people are comparing. Oh, yes, you know, I can meditate for four hours. Never mind. Don't worry, you are not competing. What is four hours? What is four hours? What it mean? Yeah. Uh, simply pay attention, recognize, and uh, be true to what is revealed inside your heart, not just your mind. So that is also a good one. If at times you find the inquiry 
uh, difficult or your mind is so strong and you feel in the place of personhood. And if you wish to pray, pray like this. Say, O Lord, O Supreme Self, rescue my mind and heart from delusion, and merge or absorb my mind in you for all time. This is very good. Simple prayer. We don't have to say anything impressive and oh, do all impressive things and say simple things. Sometimes, if you are yearning, the pain is so strong, you have so much turmoil, and you just even if you say you put yourself in a humble place and say, ah, uh, uh, and in that it means, please help me, please help me to be free from, be free from delusion. Help will come. That is another good one. Another one. We are coming now to the end. Avoid the company of people who talk or gossip too much. Yeah. Because this tendency, these habits of people who are themselves disturbed in their mind. They can't help it, and they'll come to you to to unload, unburden on you. But even if you feel you are helping them by listening, uh, they cannot get rid of this burden. They'll just go to someone else and keep unburdening themselves like this. So don't uh, be so quick to believe what the people say. Like I say, when people speak, don't just believe everything people say, especially about the world. They are not telling you what is truth about the world. They are only showing you what is inside their mind. So you stay in the neutrality of your own natural being. And you don't have to be unkind. You don't have to shush them away. You can be for a moment, and then if you are honest inside your heart, maybe a word or two may come to them in a kind way, and you will find, don't practice that, but keep quiet, and from yourself will come, the appropriate things and way to behave for these people. But don't look for their company. Even if you are feeling lonely, better you stay alone. Better you stay alone. Okay? And finally, finally, now I share with you again what I share with you. Where what I whatever I've been sharing with you over these days. Is not for your mind to remember. It is for your mind to dissolve in. What I am sharing with you, what we have shared together, is not for your person to remember and practice. It is for your person to dissolve inside it. You see? Because if you give it to the mind and person, it will chew it up and just end up with chatter. No. As you discover, then you keep quiet inside yourself, and you will see that uh, you make good use of it. Don't just think, yes, I've got to practice and repeat this thing over and over. No. Uh, Repeat it quietly in your heart, and verify it. That is all. That is all. That is all. That is all. Thank you. I have to say that uh, I am deeply pleased with this uh, retreat for what you allow me to convey and what you have allowed yourself uh, to recognize and to verify this for this reason i see it as a very powerful retreat and the retreat in its formal setting is come to an end no but what we are sharing in your heart will never end and i will bless each one uh, with you in to the extent of your determination your openness your earnestness 
for waking up. Because this is the best thing you can do for yourself, for your family, for your country, for this world. Uh, we don't need more books, more uh, videos, uh, more uh, temples, more churches. We not necessary, but a true being whose presence is the evidence of the truth. This one, like this. You become the proof that God exists, that the Self is real, you see. Not with your lips only, hmm? but your presence, the presence inside, radiates sufficient influence for those whose time it has come. And life will bring in front every type of person, sometimes foolish minded people, sometimes elevated minded people, pure hearted beings, they will come. And each one, you don't have to rehearse how to meet anybody. It's enough that you are one with your heart, and your words, your actions, your presence will reflect that. So all the very best to each and every one, wherever you may be. Whoever authentically is open to discover what we have shared, and and your heart already is verifying the truth of it. I have not come to share any philosophy with you, or to present you with some highfalutin kind of, uh, you know, sort of spiritual gymnastics or anything like that. Just simple, sober seeing, and with an open heart and an earnest intention for truth is already sufficient and will yield the fruit the true fruit of life so thank you thank you thank you and i would just now love to sit with you for these few moments and to bid you farewell in the superficial sense but i am always here as you are always here and love, love, love to you, because you are love. And peace, peace, peace to you, because you are peace. And timeless grace be upon you, because grace is your perfume. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya. Hallelujah. Alhamdulillah.